Hey. Hey, man, what time it is? Hey. Hey. Welcome to the Cole and Dre Podcast. I'm Cole. And this is Dre. We back in the building world once again. We here. We here. We got another special guest with us tonight. Very special guest. Hey, man, man. We, got, we got the homie uh, Street over here. And I, <laughs> See, that's, that means you made an impact when I don't even call you by your name. I call you by a character. Yes, Fact sir. Fact that means you did a goddamn good job. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate so we'll appreciate call it. you by your name that don't nobody know. What's so. <laughs> Which is... Dakari? Yes, sir. Dakari and Kill. <laughs> Dakari and Kill. You already know what it is. <laughs> nah, you good. <laughs> right. I stay on bullshit, man. Definitely. Man, welcome to the show, man. Thank you for coming uh, out, man. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate, 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 appreciate We We're going to be a little bit more professional today, as y'all can see. We got we got, we got got his stuff up here. We got questions. Our producer did his job. We ain't just up here just, hey, man, what are we going to talk about? Like we normally do? We got, we being professional today. And that shit shouldn't show up. I'm supposed to be able to, like, be professional. <laughs> Dre, you got your shit, like, people can see it. You're supposed to have it off where it that's looks like you know how to ask the questions that's authentically. Cause, that's because our producer didn't put it to the side. He kind of just said it right there, so I'm going to blame it on him. <laughs> yeah, well, we know he can't see that well. Yeah, so let's start off because we're going to do this. So, oh, uh, <laughs> so Mr. Dakari Akil, uh, what like got it. you into acting? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Well, honestly, man, I've been doing this since before I picked up a rock, actually. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, oh, no my, people, my people had me. Uh, I actually started off, like, at the Ensemble Theater. Okay. So I was I was doing it for a while until I actually put it down because, obviously, I came from a household. Uh, me and my sister, we did a lot of extracurricular activities, a lot of money. And, honestly, ultimately, I had to decide basketball or this. Mm -hmm. And I came from a family that was – sports heavy and okay. I had to deal with the cards that I was dealt, you know. So okay. I went all in on basketball. I knew that one day this tool would get me to where I actually ultimately want to be, which is what I'm doing right now. So cool. I think you're on your way. Oh yeah, definitely. But but let me let me let me share something with you real quickly, you know. Um we our audience is a well diverse audience, but we have okay. some audience members that are not when you said before I picked up the rock, these niggas think you out on the on the block. <laughs> I'm just you know what I mean just No 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 hold on. You meant the basketball, basketball I just basketball, basketball. Yeah, yeah, Hey that's yeah, for you yeah. Ty that's that's for Ty. He he he's a faithful watch a watch watcher of the podcast. Like you know? Yeah yeah bullshit ass Tyrone <laughs> <laughs> So Ty can be like ooh that nigga where that nigga was hustling nah, at nah. like nah clean. this nigga was playing basketball man. So what's so, up what's so, up hooper Definitely, what what position definitely. you played? Uh, shooting guard. Shooting guard. Yeah, yeah. Can you still shoot right now? Oh yeah, definitely. Dre, have definitely. you ever seen him? Have you ever seen him ball? I have not. I seen the ball in the movie, but I have not seen the hoop. Okay. Matter of fact, that's that's the movie you got the hoop. Yeah, yeah. We're hooper. gonna get into that. Sure. So, what's what high school did you go to? I went to uh, Dawson High School. Oh, okay. It's Pearland. Yeah, yeah, yeah Pearland. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still all time leading scorer there. Um, you still all time leading scorer. Yeah, there. Right yeah. now today. Right now. Lonnie, look that shit up. You know we ain't gonna let nobody no come up. You can't come over here and lie. No head. Good for real, nigga. Look that shit up. Okay, shit. I also led the state in threes two years in a row. You led the state in threes? Two years in a row. Look that shit up, man. For sure. No, we ain't gonna just let Nick tell us anything, man. That, <laughs> just, we don't have that type of podcast. We fact check shit. Go ahead. Niggas fact. is not gonna come on here and lie and be like, we got to let you get that shit out. For now, sure. if you're telling the truth, hey, man, we with you. Say this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like checking paperwork. We gotta check. Yeah, we For gotta so. check that shit, man. <laughs> hey, check them saying you said accolades while you at it. Still all the time leading three point shooting school history. That's what's that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty cool. For sure. That's pretty cool. Dre, Dre actually got a, a decent shot. You know, he'll get hot every now and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, um, I get hot at the right time, though. Play, yep. play. And I'll tell you a little quick story with, with Dre, you know, oh, show shit. interview, right? Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Dre. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dre, Dre's not a good sportsman at times. What you mean? <laughs> He's just not a good sportsman at times. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not gonna I was a great sportsman. Tell the story. I was a great sportsman. He was my yeah, coach, by the way. He was my coach. We, we oh, met in prison, by the way. Okay. He was my coach. He was a basketball player. Okay, coach. I, I thought he was okay. lying because this nigga was telling me all these people he knew, and I'm like, I know all of them. You <laughs> can't. It's impossible. You like, I would know you. <laughs> so I asked the nigga, and he's like, yeah, you don't know Dre? Mm -hmm. No, I ain't never seen that nigga. Never heard of him. Right, but then you know it was like, nah, he you real not real recognized real. He's cool okay. as shit, and so we okay. got real cool from there. Okay, you know, That's so it's all good. That's but yeah, right. Dre Dre is not a good sportsman. I mean, he took off on a dude one time on the court. You know, just big okay. dude, just hit the man. You know what I mean? Why did I take off on him though? It wasn't for no reason. 
I don't know what that is. See, what happens though, this is the thing. So let me look at the camera. Because this is the thing, <laughs> especially as black men, that we gotta work on, man. Mm. If it gets to the point where you gotta get physical, that means you have a lack of conflict resolution skills. See? Oh, shit. You shouldn't be <laughs> having to take off on one of your brothers. Y'all should be able to work it out. Now, I think the nigga that called you a bitch or spit in your face or something, I get it, you know, from that yes. point. Yes, <laughs> yes. You know exactly what happened. <laughs> You know that word. Nah, he, didn't, know he didn't spit in his face. He didn't spit in his face. Let me. Yeah, it, was a, it was a big ass Samoan. Called me the called me, oh, God. called me the fighting word, and oh, we yeah. had to fight. That's rough. And he was surprised I hit him. Like, what you mean? You Yo, can't say that. I feel you. I yeah. feel that. Dre, he was shocked. He he was really shocked. <laughs> he shouldn't have been. Yeah, that was pretty funny though. <laughs> it shouldn't have been. And as y'all know, I'm a jokester, so you know I'm I'm the coach. I thought it was funny. I was coaching. And we both got kicked out the game. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so, yeah, man. So, let's go back. Because you say you started acting at an early age, you mm -hmm. know, all the way at the ensemble. If y'all don't know, you know, for you guys and not a, not from the city, you know, the ensemble is a theater here uh, where a lot of guys, a lot of actors and actresses get their start at. Mm -hmm. um, some great talent comes out of there. And oh, I think yeah. we finally starting to get, people are finally starting to see, you know, Houston has a lot of talent. Oh, yeah, definitely, um, definitely. You know, down here. And so, you know, shout out to uh, Shannon and, and you know, d Rec. Mm -hmm. All of them. And uh, you know, Jannard and everybody else that's that's putting it down, man. So Oh yeah. My partner Dre over here, you know, y'all check him out and be someone. We got uh three thousand letters that's coming up that's up and coming. That's mm -hmm. some, that was a movie I executive produced that he was in. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah, you've been working, man. You've oh, been yeah, putting it down. Exactly. You, matter of fact, yeah. shit have when, when is the last time you had a month break? Honestly. Sure, the past what, four, five months? Because all the movies we shot already. Oh, okay, okay. So we just waited. Yeah, because y'all was on fire. Because oh, you, yeah. you you got, you in like 10 or 12 movies coming mm -hmm. up, huh? Right. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, been putting it, he been putting it in. Oh, yeah. well, let's get into the Hooper, man. How did this come about? I, I can see how it started, man. You went yeah. from acting to basketball. You know what I'm saying? I see basketball clearly one of your passions, man. Yeah. So let's get into the movie, man. Let's, so, let's How do we get to this point, man? The Hooper. So, where do we get the name from? What's yeah. the inspiration behind it? So honestly, uh, so the Hooper, it, uh, it's a 90s based film that follows a high school basketball star whose life is threatened by the biggest, um, the results of the biggest game in his career. Okay. So really it's loosely based on a true story. And I tell people all the time, I'm not gonna tell them all the elements that was true, all the right. things that were fiction, leave that up to the audience. You weren't point shaving, were you? <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> We do talk about that. Straight you know, up. It is real. That definitely but, happened, definitely. But, I mean, just think about he got game meets above the rim. Okay, you know? okay. And, and honestly, uh, originally the story was going to be following my, my senior year in high school. Because mm -hmm. my senior year, we won the first ever uh, district championship title uh, to a sold-out crowd. There was more people outside trying to get in. That was Dawson versus Manville. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people wanted to know the story behind that game. Cause it was a lot of things, you know, people thought it was a big controversy cause we had to win by X amount of points. So certain things looked like it was going hold on. on. Hold on, I never heard of, you got to win by yeah, a certain because amount of points. We had to win by a certain amount of points to, to- Oh, to, to win the district. Not to win district okay, yeah, because okay, they gotcha, had gotcha, beat gotcha, us the first time. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So gotcha. we had to win by, I believe it was like six or more. Yeah, something like one that. One of the tiebreakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got a you. tiebreaker type thing. So okay, I'm familiar with that. Okay, yeah. okay. High school a little bit different. Yeah, high school a little bit different. So honestly, it was going to be Loosely based off of that, but school district, it was a lot of things that that wouldn't have been within our budget because we did it with a, with, with a lower budget, you know? Right. So had to take again my cards and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna disintegrate this whole story. I'm gonna take this this real story, this real person, I'm gonna put them in a fictional setting. So I put it back to the 90s. Because I know 90s, that's a lot of inspiration. It's a whole lot of, uh, it's a whole lot of, you know, nostalgia. Uh, I feel like it's something for everybody, so that's why I took it back to the 90s. Got some really great uh, actors on here. I mean, just to shout out, uh, we got my boy Trey Nub. Shout out Nub. We got Rome. He played the antagonist. He's um, when you wa when you watch him, you're gonna really think about. I want to say you're gonna think about. I say Birdie in the butter room. Word. He really he, he he really attacked that, and Birdie I mean, was that guy. And even whenever I was going against him, it it, it brought me back to. Even when I was going against, you know, pro and dirty third. Okay. So it was like like he he really put that stamp in his movie. That's what I really, really love about that. I mean, we got a lot of different um talent. It's a it's a long list. I know. Love I my boy that hang with G Maniac, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know yeah, Nub. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I ain't met Nub, but I know what he's talking about. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Nah, gotcha. he the he he he's the comic relief. A lot of people, um 
lot of people loved his character, especially in the sold out um, theater uh, movie premiere that we actually had for it back in December. Okay. So we had two um, private exclusive uh, uh, showings in the movie. Okay. People just loved the reception. They was waiting for it to come out. Once it finally hit Tubi, I mean, we got a lot of great reception. So it's on that now. That's on yeah, Tubi. It's now. on Tubi right now. I, I, when did it hit? Uh, it actually hit. What was it? Like a week and a half ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Make sure y'all go check yeah, out the Hooper, check out man, the Hooper, Hooper man. Tubi, yeah. man. We got a real Hooper Facts. hooping on Facts. Tubi. And we ain't <laughs> checked this stats yet. We working on that. Y'all know we gonna let y'all yeah, know. Even if we don't let y'all know tonight, I'm gonna hit y'all up in the comments. Yeah, but I, I believe him. I actually believe you. Definitely. I hope you don't make me look bad, but I believe you. Know what I'm nah, saying? for sure. For sure. I mean, <laughs> them, them, them stats are still up there. I mean, yeah. you can go to yeah. Max Preps and everything. But yeah, but but so, but, but you 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 um wrote it all and you did everything with this. I movie, directed right? it. This is my actually directorial debut. Okay, so okay congratulations. I direct, I direct, appreciate it. I directed it. I wrote it. Um, was one of the producers. I did set design. I did. I was the music supervisor. Uh, mute. Um, you wore all the hats. I pretty much wore a lot of hats, <laughs> but I didn't do it by myself. Right. I, mean, I had a whole Facts. team. Facts. I mean, I had my guys shoot. My boy Demo. He flew all the way out from Cali just to light the whole thing. Okay. You know, my lady, she was the first AD. Um, my boy uh, Deontay Gray, he was the DP. Had my guy Brimby, he was the the first AC. Uh, we had a lot of moving moving parts, you know, right. behind yeah. it. Um, okay. Especially with the with the cast, we had over a hundred people in the cast for this movie alone. Yeah, that's right. a big cast. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So. Especially if you're well, shooting on a limited budget, so that means exactly. everybody like the project. People mm -hmm. wanted to be a right, part right, of it. Right. Exactly. So that's exactly. a great thing. Well, you exactly. can't hoop without a crowd. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You got to have, you know what I mean? Nah, for real. Yeah, so I'm sure that, that was dope, though. I mean, nah, for real. What did y'all shoot? What, what, what did y'all shoot the, the basketball season? So, like I said, I couldn't, I couldn't get my school. So I had to put my producer hat on, uh, called a lot of gyms around, and actually the gym in the Tassa Cedar. Okay, you know, yeah. where they the gym, yeah. Like, yeah, they. They let me uh, rent uh, rent out the place for yeah, for, for X amount of time. So we actually had it from 10 a.m. to what was it, like 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. So that whole championship game scene, everything that you see from the acting, the stands, the game, all that was shot in that small duration of time. You did right. that in five hours? We did that in five That's hours. That's pretty good. That's yeah. dope. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's impressive. <laughs> yeah. I'm going home and watch this tonight. For sure. Appreciate that's it. That's impressive. So, yeah. So, so – Going from basketball to acting, mm -hmm. would you have prefer to, to, for basketball? Is that was that your first preference? Honestly, it wasn't. Um, my parents still tell me I was. They could still remember me crawling around the TV trying to figure out how these people got inside this TV. I know I had a, a passion <laughs> at an early age. Like no, 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 cow. Like, like my artistic ways. I always knew that I was meant to be in front of the the, the stage, in front of the yeah. crowd, in front of the TV. So. It's to a point to where whenever I was even playing in Sam Houston, that's whenever I actually first started filming. People don't know that. So okay. I'm by day playing, going to practice, doing everything, you know, two a days, workouts. Mm -hmm. Everybody else got their free time, social life. I'm over here picking up a camera, learning how to do the filming. So we started doing a lot of web series. We started doing a lot of um, uh, short films, feature films. I mean, I'm doing things that's not even required for my major, you know, just because I had this passion and craft. Right. At the same time, I'm still dedicating all that time on the court, you know, as well as keeping my keeping my grades the way that they was. But yeah, I definitely, I definitely had that passion a long time ago. Okay, definitely, <clears throat> that's dope. Um, shit, man, like when that director hat, what was that like? Because I mean, I got some mm -hmm. shit I'm about to come up. I feel like I'm gonna put my director hat on. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I'm facts. I'm, I'm, you know, what I'm saying I, I know it's a challenge. I mean, what was that challenge like for you? Hold Honestly. on one second, man. I knew he was finna ask that question, but go ahead. Why you said that? I just knew it. Yeah, because I mean, I, I saw I, I saw you over there, like. I wonder what was that like. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, because it's, it's it's I'm up next. You know what I'm saying? You know, nah, Michelin got sure. the movie Double Cut about to drop, man. I'm about to you know about to start production on. For sure. So you know, I'm about to wear that hat. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. I can see it, but you know, I know it's still moving parts to mm -hmm. it. So I, I need to know what that's like. I need it's to get a, a little insight. It's a lot, honestly. I mean, who your favorite director? Man, I really don't have one to be honest with you. I feel you. I mean, shoot, for me, I can name a list. You know, John right. Singleton, R.P. Right, 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 right. F. Gary Gray. Right, right, right. You know, Friday. I like all they work. All, yeah, I like all they work. All the way, all the way to straight out of yeah, Compton. Facts. To be honest, I study a lot of directors. Okay. And I study the way that they 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 shoot. And because, like I said, I went to school, but I didn't go to school for for film. Mm -hmm. So everything I learned from the film aspect, I taught myself, okay. and I learned from studying from the greats. Okay. So I'm look, I'm looking at the way that. Not only the movie is shot, but I'll go to the behind the scenes. Okay. How did this scene um, get shot? How did they do it with this limited budget? How did they do it when 
you know, whenever the odds were against them because no shoot is going to go perfect. I'm right. let you know that right now. No, you facts. can, can, can plan everything out just the same right. way that we did. Right. Everything is not going to go as planned. And you right. got to always have an A, B, C, D, all the way to Z, you know, plan right. whenever you're doing this. Right. But honestly, I tell people there's no correct way to direct. Mm. Like, there's no correct way to film. I mean, I just feel like you, your, your, your film is your art. You know, in the way that you uh, perceive, the, the the way that you perceive your art, I feel like the way that you do it, that's all on you. You shouldn't have to go to school or have to read a book or tell people, like, just like how Quentin Tarantino talks about, there's no right way to film. Because right, I ain't did none you of that me? shit. I kind of was dropped into the actor's position. Exactly. Like, exactly. I kind of just fell into this shit. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A little bit of backstory about me. Like I said, I was fresh out of prison. When I did be someone, like I was probably home with a month or so, mm -hmm. and I just got a call, hey man, you wanna do a movie? Mm -hmm. And the rest is history, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of showed up and- No, I, w I watched it, man. You yeah, did a great and job. And they gave me a list of shit, and I was like, okay, I can remember this shit, and I kind of mm -hmm. kind of fell into it. So, you know, it's pretty dope. But like I said, man, Slim, you know, Slim had this this dope idea mm -hmm. for a movie, and he kind of gave it to me, like, man, can you, can you write this? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I've been playing with it for a while, and I finally, you know, kind of got it where I need to be. It's a comedy, so you know what I'm saying? like. I think I'm pretty damn funny, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, really what I did was like kind of thought about what we like and kind of how we are, how we talk to each other and like what this would be like. And I kind of mm -hmm. made it about how we would talk to each other, like, you know what I'm saying? For so sure. it got that natural. comic, yeah, and it, it's really natural, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I got a few cast members in mind. Hopefully it can fall into place and, you know, we can make this shit oh, happen, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I you got a role in your movie, man? I mean, if you want one. I'm just fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? You my boy. I, you know what I'm saying? I rewrite the whole motherfucker for you, G. You did. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got creative control on this one, so you know oh, yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know. I mean, that's the best thing, though. Whenever you come from a natural spot, it's going to always come out authentic. Yeah. That's what I always tell people, too. Yeah. You just said something that I learned on the second movie when we were doing Lace, you know, and I had this this mindset of I'm, I'm real big on systems, right? Mm -hmm. So I got a system that'll work. If, if you put everything together, this, that shit don't work in the film industry. At all. Because I, I had no idea that, that the actor can get sick doing film and I, mm -hmm. that sounds crazy but I'm thinking like what you mean she's sick like what mm -hmm. do you mean she's sick I don't understand chef you can't be sick we we got seven to ten days for this shit mm -hmm. what you mean they sick mm -hmm. yeah, they facts. sick stuff happens big facts yeah so it's it's little stuff like that that you mm -hmm. learn and you like damn okay I'm glad mm -hmm. I figured that out on the second movie exactly so you know because I, I like to I like to always see things before they happen I'm kind of big on okay well this is the plan, but what can go wrong? Mm -hmm. And I guess because I was new to this and still new to it, I didn't, I didn't, I never thought about somebody getting sick. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you didn't account for that. <laughs> it didn't account. It's just that just wasn't in the, that wasn't in the budget. It wasn't in the Yo, picture. Like so, you close million dollar deals and set up budgets for all this stuff and buy yourself some time, but you can't account for somebody getting sick. So let me ask you a question. Uh oh, here we go. No, 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 no. So you got a deal closing <laughs> Friday, <laughs> and you got a deal closing every day. Commercial real estate deals. Gotcha. And you got to be that assigned. Are you going to be sick? Oh, no, not me. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Hey, I don't give a damn how bad my head hurt. And I don't give a damn how bad my stomach hurt. I don't give a damn about none of that. All I need is a pen. <laughs> <laughs> pen and can I see? Let's look over this shit. Don't send Lonnie. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, me, don't send now I can send Lonnie. You can send Lonnie. One thing about Lonnie, I'm, I, I may say, oh, man, it's $200. Lonnie going to say, no, we're going to work it out to the... If it's two hundred and one dollars, he want to know who getting the half percent, who getting the penny. Yeah, you should. Mm -hmm. Or 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 if it's ninety nine, if it's ninety nine cents, he want the ninety nine cents. That line ain't giving up shit. <laughs> I'm not mad at that line. He ain't giving up shit. I need you to put my budget together for this movie. I don't want to give up nothing. <laughs> give me nothing. that shit. Yeah, just always playing for the worst. That's what I always tell people. Definitely. Always. Yeah. Because you can't predict the weather. Shit, fuck me. You can't fuck with me. I'll locations. fuck around and have one nigga. He started at one role. He be something else. In the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Switch that shit out on the fly. Go with I Plan know. C on y'all. You're going to have a finished product like yeah, that, Trey? Fucking right. Yeah, it's going to run me. It's going to cost hey, me some money. Hey, shit. you know they did that shit in the stories, right? You don't know. <laughs> uh, the actor now from Angie is being played by such and such, and they just keep going. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I was watching that shit I one, mean, one summer. Fucking soap opera's been around for a long motherfucking time. Like, how the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's been the same fucking story. Everybody fucking everybody. And they're getting paid. That's a pretty good story. That's a pretty good story. <laughs> I never watched the shit for, since, since I was a kid. My mama made me watch it because we was in the I house. watched it one summer. I just I watched it on one. TV. I only watched soap operas one summer. And they had this dude. I don't. I think his name was Mitch the Messenger or something. You remember <laughs> that? Mitch the Messenger. No, I don't remember yeah, that. Yeah, but Mitch was fucking. 
everything. That's what I'm saying, yeah. He got his, he's got his shows mixed up. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. <laughs> Yeah, one life to live, Mitch. Yeah, uh, Mitch. I'm telling you. Oh, so they don't watch younger. I thought you were talking about young. I thought everybody watched younger than wrestlers. Man, I. That show was See, you watch that shit, don't you? I watched that I shit one that. summer. Yeah, me neither. Cause I forgot what the hell happened. I got punished, man. That's the right. worst. My mom and them got my attention, cause I could take a ass whooping. Shout out, Dick. I, I was that type of kid. I don't mind. The lights catch me. Well, fuck it, I'm gonna come home the next day. I'm gonna get a whooping anyway. Big facts. But. You tell me I can't go outside, you get my attention. <laughs> but now, of course, these kids, they don't give a damn if they go outside or not. They don't give a damn if they leave the house. Mm -hmm. Shit. Nah, they want to be in the house. Yeah, I couldn't do that. So you got like 10 movies that mm -hmm. are going to be released this year. Yeah, some already out. But yeah. So what's out right now? Uh, right now, uh, Dirty Third. Mm -hmm. uh, the Street. Seat. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, Young Street right here, man. <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. Good job. Man. Shout out, right. Before you get into your answer, but that was like an H-Town classic that y'all kind of carried. I know so. part two kind of might have got slipped on, but part one was definitely a fucking classic. Like oh, that yeah, was, definitely. And to be in part three, man, that, how was yeah. that, man? Like, to, man. Were you familiar with part one? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. I, I definitely was. I mean, shoot. I stayed in line six hours to even audition for that part. That's so. dope. That's dope. Yeah. You did a damn so good job, I man. Knew, I, knew how, I knew how pivotal <laughs> that role was. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Rec, man. Shout nah, out to Pro, real. too, man. Shout, shout out, out to Pro, you did your thing in that motherfucker, too, man. You for and Pro, sure. y'all really got to do something else because y'all really, y'all was giving vibes in that motherfucker. Oh, I was yeah. like, yo, yeah, y'all really yeah. look like y'all was at each other's neck in that motherfucker. Yeah, that was dope. Y'all sold me. Y'all sold me. Yeah, y'all definitely sold me. Lonnie was a big part of the first one, you know. Oh, he was shit. behind the scenes in the Dirty Third One. Okay. But boy, look at here. The house and Katie. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lonnie got a baby out of that deal. Now that I think about it. You got a kid, Lonnie? <clears throat> Yeah, out of, out, of, out of Dirty Third. Where you going, Lonnie? <laughs> Lonnie need another drink. <laughs> Lonnie need another drink. Yeah. No, but so, Dirty Third is an age town classic, bro. Thanks. Like being a part of that, bro. When I seen you in pro, because I think the Rec bought at the Slim House one night before mm -hmm. he put it out. And I was like, damn, they did a good fucking job with so, this motherfucker, mm -hmm. man. Like everything about it, wardrobe, yeah. everything about it, man. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was impressed. I, I must say I was impressed. Man, preach. That was, a lot was of, that, was, that was a lot of days, a lot of hours. Everybody came through for sure. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Appreciate Definitely. it. Appreciate so you got Dirty Third that's yeah. already there. We got the Hooper that's already the there. Hooper. What's coming? Um, give, give us about five or six of these. You probably you didn't did so much you don't even remember them all. Oh yeah, so I got um so the season is out there that was in most popular just recently as well. Yeah, the season, the season yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I, the season. Um, what else I got? I got candy. Hold on, too. hold on. What what is the season about? Uh, the season is uh, it's uh, how can I explain it? It's kind of like a a black. Black soap opera. So y'all was talking about soap operas. <laughs> it, it's, it it kind of it, it, it kind of gives a black soap opera feel, but it's really like a crime thriller. Okay. okay. Um, it follows a a businessman whose brother comes into his life and uh, wreaks havoc, and I'm the brother, so I play an antagonist in, in this one. So okay. Just how propane was an antagonist. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Dirty Third. I'm the antagonist in the season. So right. a lot of people like that character of me in there. I got a a famous line. Take that bass out your voice. That's um, my famous line up in there. So okay. a lot of people know about that movie. I'm going to calm down. I don't want no smoke. <laughs> <laughs> For man, sure. We was at the cook-off this weekend, man, and Pro took a picture with Gravy, man, telling me he want to be Mr. That. Tooby. So how you feel about that title? Hey, you want to be Mr. Hey, Tooby, too? Hey. <laughs> all I know is that the accolades coming. Right, I, I, I let all the, the movies. I say, pro, you out of line, bro. <laughs> he really posted no, but, hey, but It pro, ain't out of line at all. But, but Pro needs to be – he he needs to get on some more for sure. Yeah, pro dev out, oh, man. Pro sure. pro talent, man. It's shocked me. I know pro a good artist as a rapper, but I mean yeah. to see him on screen and to see he 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 definitely killed his role. Oh, he yeah, hey pro, I I gotta tell you this, no disrespect. You sold me as a real hoe ass nigga, boy. Oh <laughs> my god. I don't mean no disrespect, but you I'm like, this is a whole ass nigga right here. I think pro ain't give a fuck. <laughs> Why are you terrible? You was terrible. Yeah, he was terrible. You was terribly man. good, though. Yeah, definitely. Nah, man, was. congratulations. Homie. You I was definitely shit. surprised by that. But like, like I said, y'all bounced off each other. Oh, super yeah. Duper we was dope. definitely bouncing off each other. You could feel it on set. I mean, sure, I'm a method actor at times. So it was times I was really not fucking with him at all. For real. <laughs> 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 like, but you know, you it showed on camera and shoot afterwards. I mean, sure, we, we locked in for sure. Yeah, facts. So, Pro hoop too, so who the better hoop out of you and pro man? You know, oh, pro man. be talking that shit too, like he can hoop now. So you know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen him per se, but he say he can hoop, so yeah, I gotta mean, take his word for it. So I mean, who went in that one on one? Come on now. Okay, I'm gonna, just saying. I ain't gonna 
I ain't gonna just be on a high horse like that. Fuck that. Man, you can beat him, you can beat him, you can beat him. Yeah, nigga, that nigga, he gonna probably tell you, nigga, that shit you beat me in the movie. You can't fuck with me out on this court, nigga. Them niggas wrote that shit in. That's some shit Pro gonna tell you. That shit was wrote in, nigga. You can't fuck with me for real. So. We get on that court. I ain't Come true. on, we got to go with the rest of these movies. So yeah. we got, I got we got candy. the Hooper, we yeah. got the season, we got uh, three thousand letters coming. Yeah, you got candy dollars. too. Candy too. Uh, I got a movie, uh, Marie, that's about to come out. Okay. Uh, it's a horror. Got unfinished business with uh, Jamal Woolard and uh, Omar Gooden. That's okay. coming out in April. I thought that's unfinished the... business was on there. No, nah, it's not on there yet. Oh, it's not it, on it come out on April. Um, I got. No, no, no. That's out here in Houston. Yeah. And then we got. Uh, we got H Town, Jeff Shelley. Yeah, uh, I mean that all one. of us. Yeah, yeah, I'm in H Town. That's right. Yeah. Jeff was funny as shit to me in that um in Platinum. Platinum, yeah. He didn't yeah, even yeah. Rec- he didn't even recognize Jeff in there. Oh, you didn't know? It's, it's a lot of film. shit he can't recognize. I would think. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave man, I can't let I you do my partner I like quit. this. <laughs> I quit, man. He can make it so easy though. <laughs> Who oh, yeah, yeah, Jeff is in the Hooper too. I yeah. Mean that, yeah. Jeff a good act. Jeff, Jeff yeah. is pretty damn funny, man. I, I kind of want Jeff to play alongside of Slim and, and, and Double Cup too. So I, I'm about to get with Jeff. I told him yeah, already, but nah. I, I had him up. Nah, here, that's so my boy. Yeah, that's Jeff, my good boy. dude. He is good dude. Good dude. He definitely is. Yeah, Jeff's pretty funny. I, I, I we had him on the show. Yeah, he, Jeff, uh, funny motherfucker. Yeah, he, he's hilarious. Funny motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Okay, we, so keep going because because yeah, you ain't made it to ten because I'm like induced. Uh, induced, induced. In, induced. Okay. It's a. It's actually still most popular horror right now. Okay. Uh, I got the Ring Widow. That's out right now with D Hill. Um, okay. What is that one? The Ring Widow. The Ring Widow. It's a thriller horror. Okay. Uh, that that's already out as See, well. I don't even want to do no shit like that. I ain't with no. I don't even watch scary movies, bro. I'm not. Yeah, I don't watch shit. I don't do that either. shit. I'm not trying to be hood and all that shit. No, no. It's actually fun. I ain't gonna lie. I can imagine, but Nightmare on Elm Street fucking. That's just like though. a weird vibe to me. Like I don't want. Well, I ain't. I gotta come in here and imagine you doing some shit psychologically to me, cause it ain't real. But psychologically, they can mm-hmm. act so good that that shit becomes real. I don't like no shit like this. Right. Yeah. The yeah. last scary movie I seen was I know what you did last summer. And I'm in the movies with a chick, and I'm in that bitch jumping and shit. I'm like, you know what? This is my <laughs> last scary motherfucking movie. I'm not doing this no more. So I'm guessing I ain't seen. Ray, you were jumping? Fucking right, I was. That shit scared the shit out of me. Hey, fuck. <laughs> oh, so I'm done. Man. So I haven't watched scary movies since then. I feel. Hey, funny story. Toy, you probably gonna kill me. Well, Toy, you're lucky you go around and sing that Freddy Krueger song. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. She gonna cringe the fuck up. Like, nigga, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't do the scary movie shit. I feel. She I ain't watch, saw none of that shit. I'm not watching. I ain't wa- I, I, I don't do sci fi <clears throat> either, though, so I'm not a sci fi. The scariest movie I watched is Red Flags. That was a scary movie? That was a scary it's movie. supposed to be scary or drama. I don't know. That I just watched no it. Shannon that told me to watch. Good. So I was like, shit. You scared? I can't, you scared? Nah, I just I don't I don't like scary shit. I like I like comedies mm-hmm. and action. I feel. I like I like I, real I, life. Look, little, little drama and thrillers. Okay, I'm cool with that. But I like mm-hmm. comedies and yeah, action. Yeah, I don't want to be scared. Yeah, I don't want to be scared. I don't want to have bad dreams. So what else? Cause you stopped at um, uh, the Hat Man. Um, Which one? The Hat Man. That's another one. The Hat Man. Yeah, what it's is actually that it's uh it's another horror movie. Oh, uh, uh, I actually played the Hat Man. though. No, it's a real uh, a real folk tale that um <laughs> pe- no you can Google. That's it. pretty cool because you that what what I'm what I'm hearing from you is your range is oh yeah sick. my oh, the boy can I ain't gonna lie your my, range is sick you my know? range nobody got no, no range like me you know like I ain't even trying to <clears> sound Denzel, cocky right now but Denzel is obviously one of my favorite actors but. One of my other fa I got two favorite actors, man, and this this is a weird thing. Fucking Denzel and mm-hmm. Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci is good. Okay. Right. For him to be able to sell you in Casino and then sell you on a character in Lethal Weapon is mm-hmm. just phenomenal to me. Yeah, he's a fool though. I mean, both of those. Like that's good. just mm-hmm. like that's just like you can really be this clown in mm-hmm. in in Lethal Weapon, and you can really be this cold or gangster. And I don't doubt either one of them. Because exactly. you know, a lot of times when you see people in roles like for me, I'm gonna look. I gotta. I gotta look at a lot more of your stuff. But mm-hmm. to me, you gonna always be little street. Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> Damn. You you ain't seen none of my other stuff, then have you? I got. I, I mean, I gotta check you out so yeah. you could be somebody else. When, when, whenever you see everything else, like <laughs> so, like, you might be the Hooper. Oh yeah, I'm, you I'm might telling just you. Be the Hooper. Like, cause I'm like I said, I'm I, I'm I'm hard method when it comes to it. Like I changed my whole appearance and everything. I mean. From Dirty Third and Candy, we shot those simultaneously, and I look totally different in both of those. 
Mm. Oh, Candy too is opening right now. Yeah, yeah. God damn, I don't have time. That's to Boomtown. Watch all this that's shit. Boomtown yeah, Candy Town. Okay, shout out to mm-hmm. Boomtown, man. Yeah. We gotta get Boomtown up here, man. For yeah, sure. we need to get. I've been on Boom for a minute too. I gotta get Boomtown up here. So, but we uh, starting. To, hey, man, you know what I'm hearing though. Dre, we starting, we starting to get some motion in the city on these movies, man. Oh, yeah, man, we, we, we out there, man. Over, yeah. We getting some motion. It's, it's out there. It's a big movement right now, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that we got up and coming motherfuckers. We got motherfuckers that's been doing it, and you Thanks. got people after them that's grooming other motherfuckers to come up in the game. So, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm new to it, you know what I mean? So, you know, mm-hmm. I kind of like it, but I'm, I think I'm more of a behind-the-scenes cat. I'm not really a camera guy. I don't, you know. I feel. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So, you never know. It could. I mean, right. Could work yeah, I, I know I'm behind the scenes. I ain't going to turn no money down now. Somebody's ain't going to pay it. me. I'm going to do it. Like, you know, so I'm not going to play any road. Yeah. So, I'm still in that little, little thing. So, I ain't really, I feel you know. That. I played a detective in uh, Only Friends with uh, Big Gravy or whatever. So, I'm doing that now. And he's going okay. to me down to film tomorrow. Can't make it at 10, Shannon. My bad. <laughs> I, I, I don't think he's gonna um, get this by tomorrow, so you you may want to text him. Yeah, I'm just saying, but I mean, you yeah, know, I'm, no, I'm texting him now. But I mean, mm-hmm. you know, we'll call him. Yeah, oh, I'm texting him. I just so told I think you should call him. I hate this yeah. shit. Let me show you why I don't like people texting. He got me playing a detective, man. That was my first time doing some other than playing a, a ex drug dealer. Yeah, like, how many texts so you, you know. see in there, man? <laughs> That's why I don't text your ass. Call me, man. Fact. That's 748 text texts in here, and it was 900. Clean that up. Yeah, I'm gonna get to him. Shit, y'all call me, man. Shit, y'all know I, I'm old. Shit, I'm old school, man. I don't want to keep reading. And then you got some people that just keep texting you over and over and over and over like that. Man, listen, pick the phone up. I, I don't. Some people I don't want to talk to, so I don't mind texting. I feel that. Some people I just don't want to fucking talk. I don't, cause I can ignore your ass. Oh, I ain't get that. Mm-hmm. But if I don't want to talk to you, I don't want to text you either. I yeah. mean, it's pretty simple. So. <clears throat> You got how many how many actual movies you got coming out this year? I know we said like ten or twelve. Uh, well, I lost count. well, I already have about eight that's out right now. I got another. I want to say like six or seven that's about to come out. Oh, you might be Mister Tubi though, because Jamal was up. He can remember shit either. So you might be Mister Tubi. I got a lot. Yeah, I got. I, I saw eighteen titles or twenty. I think I said twenty. Eighteen to twenty for for Jamal. You finna uh, you finna you finna run his ass by oh, yeah. on his rope. We gonna be yeah. yeah I mean, you finna, you but finna. you got to deal with pro too, because pro say he missed a tubi, so he only got one up there. So he missed a tubi already. <laughs> <laughs> and then nigga just got that one. <laughs> That's it. The one that I know of. You know what I'm saying? So I know your I know your girl acts as well. So mm-hmm. do y'all have do y'all have any films together? Y'all got any movies together? Yeah, actually, um, she was the first AD, and she uh, on the Hooper, and she also played cheer captain, and uh, in the Hooper we play alongside each other, Marie. That's about to come out. We played an unfinished business with Jamal Woolley together. Okay. Um, she actually played my lady in H Town. Okay. Uh, Hat Man. We she she plays uh, one of the sisters in Hat Man. Whenever I was the actual Hat Man. Okay. Uh, damn. How many other movies? We got any so y'all been together? working together? Oh yeah. So so I, you know, of course, you know, I got one of those fucked up questions. Um, <clears throat> how do you? <laughs> <clears throat> how does she feel about you doing sex scenes with other people, and how do you feel about her doing them? Ah, uh, honestly, um, it's just acting we, anyway. Yeah, but I'm a type of actor, and we already had this this conversation before. Um, I'm an actor where I don't like to give into the satisfaction. You feel me? I feel like that's something that in a lot of movies that we see nowadays, we go straight to the action. Like we don't leave no room for imagination. Right. Like back in the day, they used to have it to where they would insinuate a sex scene. So that you would in your in your mind like, damn, I wonder how such and such would be if they would have played this whole scene out. Now you go on, you see nothing but you feel me. But like with me, that's one thing that I pride myself as an actor because Denzel is one of the only other ones that never did a sex scene and got, still got an Oscar. Mm. You feel me? And still is praised the way that he is. He's never done a sex scene. Never Not even training day. He didn't do a sex scene training. Nah. She was naked though. Yeah. She was naked in training day. Never yeah. did. The only she one that he did, the, the, only, the only one that, that he yeah, did was uh, he got game and he was fully clothed. I thought he did something in Mo Better Blues. Nah, he, they, they did a lot of kiss scenes, but it wasn't no, yeah. You know what? And, and let me say this too, man, because the way you just answered that question, I think you have some political aspirations in your future. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you, <clears throat> that was very good. So Smart I'll let man. you know that. Yeah, that's pretty good, though. See, my code is like people come up here and just, just cluck out. I don't know why. No, I, I don't. Yeah, you do. <clears throat> no, yeah, you I do. do not. It's not yeah, true. You do. Yeah, you but do. it's not true. Yeah, you I do. like people to come up here and be honest. I and he, he was honest. 
That was a very diplomatic answer. I mean, that was that was a that was that as was he, as that he was should be. We got company. As he should, we got with companies. real diplomacy. We got and companies. I mean, this, so I'm like, damn, this nigga, this nigga here might be running for office around here. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that was pretty good. For sure, that take so, some so. lessons from. You. But anyway, you still didn't really answer the question because you kind of just, you know, so nigga, can she do it or can you do it or not? I mean, <laughs> when it comes. <laughs> <laughs> To be, to, to be honest with you, when it comes to, it depends on, on the role. It depends on the money, I would assume. It depends on the, the money. I agree. It depends on what they want. Like I said, we ain't compromising no morals over here. Because the Come moment here, man, that give you- Come on that. That's what, now that's what I'm, <clears throat> that's real. Now that is real. Because, now, now I, I'm, being, I'm being sincere and serious, no joke, man. I think a lot of people compromise they morals for money or for fame and shit mm. like that. And I just, I, I hate it, man. Definitely. Mm. You know, and, and we, 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 we pride ourselves on our show to stay out of the bullshit. Yeah. Even though I kind of, I, 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 I had to reassess some last night. I was like, I entertained some bullshit. I was kind of upset with myself because, you know, that was one of the things me and Dre talked about. Like, you know, we not going to get caught up in the hype of what this guy doing, this guy mm-hmm. doing, right, and right, what's right. the hot topics and what they talking about. Mm-hmm. We we're gonna we're gonna send out good vibes and good spirits, man. Mm-hmm. And so you know we're not gonna compromise our show and, and don't compromise your morals. Don't let your wife, your for girl, sure. compromise hers. So now on some real shit, I appreciate that. For I can sure. respect the shit facts. out of that, for man. Sure, for sure. So yeah, real. keep keep on pushing. Plus, well, since I ain't got no girl, I'm getting naked. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna keep it a bean. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no gun. I'm gonna keep it. I'm keeping it big. I I had one of the actors tell me, man, hey, you, uh, Shannon told me you gonna do like 15, 20 moves. I was like, yeah. Hey, listen, put me in, but always write me a sex scene, and they love it. I ain't gonna tell you who that was, but it's like they love it, man. They love it wasn't it. me though, but I would have said that too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think it go against my moral compass because you know what I'm saying. I would be fucking anyway, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you piece of shit already when it I comes mean, to that. So yeah, I okay. Mean, I'm a single dude. What you expect? If I had a gal, it'd be different. I ain't got no gal. Nobody like me like that. I, I admire you. I admire <laughs> you. Nobody like me like your that. Your singleness, Dre. I do. Yeah. I think you do a great job of being single. Thank you. I'm a fan of good work. Thank you. Because if I was single, I'm, well, you know, I'm not gonna even speak this shit. I don't. Know <laughs> you you know, bet not. Because you know your wife watching. Shit, yeah, you <laughs> bet not. I don't even want to speak <laughs> whole, about this. The whole shit. podcast be on the those be on the locker. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. So what's your what's your what's what's your like two year goal right now? I'm not gonna say five year. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, what do you see for yourself um over the next two years? Uh easy. Uh being a household name. I mean, I'm definitely putting that 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 groundwork in, uh going out for some bigger roles, mm-hmm. uh speaking things to existence, continue to do the work. Uh, network, keep myself uncomfortable, and uh, do another two, three movies of my own as well. Mm, so, cool. and eventually, uh, my company, which is 3D Productions, a nonprofit film production company, uh, continue to make that grow for upcoming filmmakers because m- the main reason why I actually uh, founded 3D Productions was because me growing up, like I said, you know, especially people like us, we don't really have access to, well, maybe a little more now, but growing up, we didn't have that much access to film, you know, especially the film industry in general, whether it be acting and and acting in front of the camera, actually acting for film, for television, all of that. So being able to have something like a Boys and Girls Club before our people, right. that's what mm-hmm. I want to be able to have. That's dope. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's hella dope. dope. I, I tell people, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm, I ain't never been no hater. I don't feel like I got a hating bone mm-hmm. in, my, in my body. But like when when people say if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. You can make it in L. A. You mm-hmm. can make it. In, I'm like y'all got everything right there. Like I'm Fair. hella impressed with David Banner making it from Mississippi mm-hmm. than I am right. from somebody making it from New York or from 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 L. A. Mm-hmm. Because that's the epicenter of entertainment. Both 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 cities. Mm-hmm. So you know, and I think and I I love to see. I I love what I'm seeing with Houston right now. Oh yeah. With our growth and and how we're becoming, you know. That for the sudden Atlanta, if you can, you know, I, I'm I'm a, I'm a huge fan of what Atlanta has done, what Tyler mm-hmm. Perry has done, and mm-hmm. what they're doing in Atlanta. Period. Mm-hmm. And I think I hate that we're we're just getting to it. And yeah. what I don't want to see is I think we had we had a two and a half, we had about two two and a half three years maybe on the rap game, probably from late '03 
to 06 and it fizzled out. And I would really like to see. Because everybody got the big head. <clears throat> yeah, and, and, and I hope that doesn't happen with us in this side. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a situation where we should be able to learn from those mistakes mm -hmm. and everybody can, you know, work together. And shit, at the end of the day, man, we, we, we trying to make the city shine. No, right. for real. You know, it's, it's too much talent here for us to have to go to Atlanta go to L.A. or New York. Exactly. I can't stand it. I Man, I respect the shit out of everything they got, but we, I feel like this is the best city in the world, not in travel. So, no. so, so when you so when you building that big-ass movie studio, what's up? Man, man, I'm trying to, you know when I'm the here, fans right. got me, they got me in the money, shit. I'm trying to get the money back right now. <laughs> shit, I, I wish they just took me. <laughs> they got up. the money too, shit. So, man, if you can play any role, man, what is your, what is your dream role, your dream movie, your dream... Um, what is Ooh. it? Is, 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 is it? Is it Marvel? Is it? What is it? What is your dream role, man? Dream. Because I could be the Black Panther. Though. Me personally, I want to be the Black Panther. I ain't gonna I lie. He could be a Marvel character. He like, definitely he can. He literally. I'm, I'm just. Sure. When you said, "Is it Marvel?" I'm like, "Damn, For nigga, sure. you could be a superhero." <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I don't see that part. Do you think he? Do you think he? I I don't I don't know on that one, but I'm just looking like. <laughs> I can see this nigga with a cape on. I either so, want to do that or play in a kung fu movie. Like, I want to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because I grew up definitely. on that shit. But honestly, I mean, Marvel superhero action, that's real big. I definitely am going to do that because I don't say want want to or trying to. I know I'm going to. But something that's a dream, I love biopics because biopics, they teach us so much about our own history that, mm -hmm. you know, they trying to fill out. Mm -hmm. And some of the roles that I definitely would like to play um, for sure, Kobe. I feel mm. like he got a, a story mm. Um, mm. on it on that's his huge. own, for real. And I know that's a big, that's some big weight on my shoulder. But I feel like I definitely be able to let's to, go, to bring Bing. That, let's go, bring Bing. That. And um, outside of him, Benjamin Banneker, that's one of the greatest inventors this world mm -hmm. has ever known, mm -hmm. and does not talk enough about. You know, so right. Make definitely sure to cover that up. Like that. Though. They don't want us to know about that. Exactly. Well, yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all up front. I've never heard of who he just said, and I'm a pretty well versed guy. So who in the hell is Benjamin Banneker? I don't know. See, one thing about me, and this is what I'm telling y'all, if you don't know, ask the goddamn question. So, so please enlighten me, my brother. I mean, Benjamin Banneker, man, he was a he was a pivotal uh, inventor, okay. especially uh, especially in our history. He was one of the first people, I'll call him an OG, because he was the first one to check a U.S. president on his on his speech. He checked Thomas Jefferson on, uh, on his speech when they were talking about uh, – what he say on the free speech? Um, my bad, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right it's now. Okay, take your uh, time. Uh, Declaration of Independence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whenever he was talking about life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, mm -hmm. you know, um, equality for all men, mm -hmm. he said, "How can you talk about equality for all men, and you doing the same thing in your own backyard? Mm -hmm. Y'all were just doing, y'all, y'all were just talking about the, you know, the Brits, but y'all doing the same thing the Brits were doing to us." So it's just to a point to where it's like, not only that, he was the first person to write almanacs. Benjamin Franklin, he had almanacs, but he never did actually do the research. Mm -hmm. Benjamin Banneker literally hand wrote for 10 years his own almanac. And he actually sent one to Thomas Jefferson who sent it off to a lot of people in the United States, which is what a lot of white slave owners didn't even know that they were reading. So he actually taught himself how to read, write. He built the first working clock in America. It's so much uh, in inventions that he actually did because people say that Benjamin Franklin was the greatest inventor that we know. They talk about Thomas Edison, but they don't talk about our people that actually did a lot of the Well, a lot the of stuff things. was stolen from us. So like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, For yeah. sure. A lot of stuff. For sure. Still stolen. Yeah. Um, even even your literary work, your... your um, intellectual property at the end of the day uh i i've noticed it i've stolen some stuff i ain't mean to mm -hmm. still still mean to mm -hmm. no no when i say stolen right if i buy a script out right and i tell a guy hey man i'm putting my name on it that's still a, mm. it ain't because i bought it but really and truly i ain't write that shit pay and, and, and I, I, I paid for a couple of them but i had to go back and say you know what nah i want i want you to keep your name on here home and I, because I, I felt like I don't want to steal anybody's credit, you know. So, yeah, I, I bought a couple of scripts that I had to, you know, that I, I actually had bought, mm -hmm. and I put my name on them. I was reading. I was like, that's kind of fucked up. Let me not do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, man, put your name back on this shit, on. That's dope. That's real. Yeah. So a lot of people don't do that. 
And and that's something in the independent game too. Like that's that's one thing that I definitely want to be able to break from to be able to keep that creative freedom because a lot of times people have to sell what they have for the quote unquote bigger picture and they're not able to to see their vision really come to life. Right. You know, Rocky, um, you know, Sylvester Stallone and, and Rocky, people mm-hmm. don't know. The only reason why he was able to do that movie, he actually wrote that. And he said he wouldn't come on and wouldn't sell it unless he could play that character. Mm. And that was when he was, what, in his late 30s, early 40s? And look at the career he had today, you know? Right. So it's like just – And that just, shit's still going. I wonder if he get a portion of Creed. Because I mean, that's kind of his story still. Right? That shit's still going. I wonder if he get a portion I'm, of I'm, Creed. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, though. I think he owns the franchise to Rocky. Yeah. So mm. I think that's a part of the Rocky just like franchise. The, uh, I just discovered that the guy that wrote Yellowstone was homeless, man. The guy that played in Yellowstone. Y'all watch Yellowstone? Man, I, I I just got into that's it. That's a bad one. I would love to play a cowboy. That's, that's a, but that's I haven't some bad watched shit. it. Yeah, like, I bad just watch, I, I watch one uh one episode, and I'm like, shit. Y'all don't tell. I can't start watching this. Mm. Mm. Cause I ain't gonna stop watching it. No, I didn't. I'm already waiting on the new season to come out. I didn't. I started at at one, and we we watched all five seasons. And it's a western. It's a western. So good. That you watch like Yellowstone, a, Lonnie? That bit's like. That bitch, yeah. Uh, so yeah you, you wait so, so, so you like westerns? Would you say, would you say Django or um or the other one that that Jay Z produced? Oh, Django was better. Jay Z movie was good, but Django was better, in my opinion. <coughs> okay, I think Django was a better story. I feel. Yeah, I think Django was a better story. It was that Django was good. So, what y'all feel about the controversy behind Tarantino, Spike, the use of N word in all of his his films, and and pretty much. From your own perspective, personal perspective, man, I heard Jay Z say this a long time ago. He said that people give words meaning, people mm-hmm. give words power. Like we use the N word as a as a as a a word of a term of endearment. Mm-hmm. I don't like when other race people say it, but at this point, I'm like, I really don't have a huge problem with it, especially when they use it in a way that we use it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like I, I know it's wrong, and a lot of people might not agree with me, mm-hmm. but if somebody say what up, my nigga, like I'm not offended by that. Just, mm-hmm. I'm just not. Mm-hmm. I'm not offended by that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're using it in a way where it's, <clears throat> it's meant to be derogatory, that's a different story. Mm-hmm. But to me, I I really, in my mind, in my age now, I just feel like it's a form of endearment. That's how we use it. Because mm-hmm. I've never used the N word to downgrade somebody. I've always used it in to you know as in to show like, hey, this is my guy, this is my dude, mm-hmm. my nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What up, my nigga? Like that's how we use it. Right. When somebody else uses it like we use it, I don't have a problem with that. But that's just that. me. I feel that. But I know people. You better not say that shit to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So it's not a trigger for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If that makes more sense. No, I hear so that. So that, that's, that's me. I feel that. It's, just, it's definitely not a trigger for me. I don't care. Even if you use it and say, nigger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, we, people give words power. That's yeah. just the reality. I'm not, I, I don't even get too much. It's just really, my daughter asked me last week, Daddy, when do you get angry? Because to me, I'm not going to allow you. When you get angry and you give people their words power, mm-hmm. you giving them power over you. I'm not going to get that to you. Mm-hmm. I can't give that to you. Not that I'm perfect and I don't ever get mad, but I, I'm really, I do everything I can to control my emotions. So you calling me a nigga, it's, okay, I just call this nigga a nigga. So when am I mad with you? Right. Okay, that's what you think. Because if, if, we, if we don't want to buy that shit, we should be using it. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. You know my, what I'm saying? My, my mama won't, she don't yeah. use, she don't like it. She get mad when she hear me say it. Mm-hmm. Right. And with somebody like that, I can respect it because you don't use it, but I use the word. Yeah, I yeah. try not to use it yeah. at times, and depending on the room I'm in, mm-hmm. but you know, because it's not for everybody. Like it's, you know, what I'm saying I don't, you know. But at the end of the day, bro, it's it's it's. I don't want to say we passed it mm-hmm. because I know that word did a lot of damage to you know our people over the years that was used to, to oh, degrade yeah. our people. Definitely. But at the end of the day, man, you know, so much we've overcome. Like you know, what I'm saying, and I think mm-hmm. that's one of the things that we eventually need to. I ain't gonna say get past. I don't ever want to say that, but mm-hmm. we got to handle that better. How about that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, so, that. I, I say one other thing on that. Nobody can make you feel inferior. Nobody can upset you without your permission. Yep. Mm. See, it takes your permission That's real. That's for real. somebody to call you a nigga and you upset. I don't. I have to give you permission to fuck with my emotions. Yeah. Nah. You ain't. Why? Why can I give? Well, I'm not giving you that kind of power. Right. Yeah. That's <laughs> real. That's some real. Yeah, and I don't want nobody to have that power with me. So I right. can't stand it. Yeah. The only person got. There's only pretty much one person right now that can even upset me. That's my wife. Outside <laughs> of that, I really don't. You know what I'm saying? Like we know. 
Real shit. Like, I'm, I'm simple. I feel like if you can't get along with me, it's probably you. Yep. I, I feel agree. that. I'm the same way. <laughs> it's probably. And that go for females, males. If you don't get along with me, that's on you. Yeah, it's probably you. You, you got probably your own you. set of issues, man. I feel you know what that. I'm but it, it's just one of those things, like you know, what I'm saying I don't know what I don't. I'm not familiar with what's going on with those guys or whatever. But mm. now nah, it was it was something that happened back then. Whenever Django first came out, right? Um, Cause uh, the use of the word so many times, it was the most I think. Well, Samuel Jackson probably said it more than anybody. <laughs> Is that nigga saying, man, on that? Is that a nigga on that mouth? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you know, I'm not sure. Like you know, but. Speaking of not just that word, but today's society is a lot mm -hmm. more sensitive than, than than it ever was. Like, oh, yeah. we forget that times have changed. Like times, I mean, back then it was it was it was much different. It was, a lot of mm -hmm. things were accepted, and now mm -hmm. we're starting to go back and dig up stuff that was accepted back then. Maybe it was it was whether it was right or wrong, but back then it wasn't a problem. Yeah, but we're doing it amongst us. But we're not going back and correcting the things that really should have been corrected with you know with all the things. Like let's go let's go back and correct. We're gonna do it. Let's do everything and back and fix mm -hmm. everything. Because if that's the case, they're going to have to go back even further. Yeah. Let's be mad about it all. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because if you look at fucking uh, 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 Archie Bunker or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, him and Fred, they kind of went at it a lot mm -hmm. with the N word. Like, they, they openly said it. Mm -hmm. It was George Jefferson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was George. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, he called him honky. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was, that was TV. Yeah. That was TV. Yeah. Red Fox said it openly on TV. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? But nowadays mm -hmm. we can't do that because of the sensitivity levels now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, Yeah, that was normal. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely normal. But no, nah, they were saying they were saying the way that he used lies <coughs> it in all his films, like Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction Jackie, Pulp Jackie, Pulp Jackie, Pulp Jackie Brown, yeah, all of them. Yeah. Well, no, nah, he actually was a character that that he you that he used the word <coughs> and he used it with a hard. Jackie Brown's in the seventies though, portrayed in the seventies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's Jackie Brown. I'm talking about Pulp Fiction. Shit, what era was Pulp Fiction supposed to be in? Pulp Fiction was what? Eighties. Was supposed to be an eighties movie. Okay, because I don't think yeah. they really gave. I don't think they really gave a time on Pulp Fiction. Welcome to the show, Faith. How you doing? Thank y'all for having me. I'm good. How are y'all? Pleasure, pleasure. Great, welcome, man. Welcome. Pleasure. Thank you for coming on. So, we 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 talked a little bit about his body of work. Let's talk a little bit about yours before we wrap this up. Because uh, you've been you've been you uh you've been outside. You getting some motion out here too? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, you getting Definitely. some motion out here. Of course, yes. Uh, well, don't forget to check out the Hoopers now streaming on Tubi. I was one of the producers, the assistant director. As well as the chair captain in the film. Y'all keeping that shit in the house, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, fact you. Fact you. That's well, what's up. I mean, with him being the director, writing and starring in it, of course he needed someone he could trust that could help execute the vision. So I knew mm -hmm. like all of the shots that he wanted. I was there from the writing process all the way to post production. So mm -hmm. that was helpful to be able to execute that. Uh, Marie coming soon. That is mm -hmm. my first um, leading film. That yeah. I'm carrying the film. Okay, yeah. congratulations. So that's a Jay Harper film. Yeah. Thank you. Jannard did that one. Uh, he's also in that one. Mm -hmm. I have Red Fl I was in Red Flags, too. Actually, I heard you mention Red Flags. Yeah. So yeah. Red Flags, too. That one's coming soon. Shannon was the director for that one. He created that. Mm -hmm. And um, what else? Unfinished Business is dropping in April. Mm -hmm. And I have some stuff that I also had, like, featured roles in Mo, which is on Netflix. Mo Amir, that was filmed actually in Houston. I seen Mo. You, you were in yes. Mo? Yeah, I, I miss you in Mo. I seen Mo, though. Yes, and um, Hip Hop Family Christmas 1 and 2, I also had, like, little feature cameos in those as well. Okay. So, yeah. That's IMDb dope, going up right now. <laughs> Work. That's what's up. That's Work. what's up. I don't even fuck with my IMDb page. I, I got that motherfucker. That bitch is there. I feel. I think yeah, I got I'm like terrible. four credits now. I, I don't. I'm know. terrible. I'm terrible mm -hmm. as well. I'm terrible. Um, so, what got you into acting? Well, I love performing. Um, just since I was a child, I, I did dance performance. I also did theater as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I also came up in media broadcasts in the schools that I went to. Um, West Side. I graduated from West Side High School. Graduated from University of Houston for college. I had my mass communications degree with an emphasis in PR. Okay. So I have a media and broadcast background. I was able to bring that with me into film as well as um, I, I model as well. So I've been doing a few hats, <laughs> being real rounded and everything. And I've been able to, in the last um, two years, dive all the way deeper into film and acting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. Okay. 
Man, look here. A sound blowing up around this thing. We getting some motion, baby. Definitely. We're getting Definitely. some motion over here. For sure. I'm, I'm, I'm beside three people who got some real motion going. I'm loving it. <laughs> They, they motivate me over we, here. We got the motion, you got the money. Let's work. Shit. <laughs> money tight right now. I got to work. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I heard him close a couple of these deals. Shit, I'm blacking all the way out the movie industry. I got to go back and get my money. Straight like that. Straight like yeah. that. I got to so, so, so what is the household like, man? Who get, who who has the last say-so on creative control? When y'all in there writing and being creative, man, who has the last say-so? Do y'all vote on it? Who was the third party? Cause I've never dated somebody that was in my profession, so you know what I'm saying. But I've been Man. a drug dealer most of my life. But you know, I've never dated somebody <laughs> I mean. in my profession, so I'm just curious. How does that work? Whoa. What you making that face for? It's on record. I'm done with that now. So that was on record. So, <laughs> huh? What happened? That face you just made off camera. Oh, what did I say? Do it again. Let's see. Show the world. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause see, you and your wife work together, so you know what I'm saying. I've never had that, so you know what I'm saying. I'm just curious. Oh, about who? Uh, you talking about them? Yeah, but I'm saying you and your wife work together, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She yeah. runs shit around here, we know. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I don't want no smoke, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no smoke. I but I definitely that. make the decisions around this motherfucker. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah don't, you, don't you know that? I don't know. Tron making a different face back there. Tron, you all right? Yeah, I'm over here. Okay, all right. <laughs> 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 I, I think I'm, I, I get more passive with her, you know, because it's like I don't want to argue with you about that shit, but I ain't gonna do nothing that don't make sense. So you know, mm. I don't care who the boss. Okay, I do care who the check, who, who a part of the check though. Okay, for real. So, 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 so who makes these decisions, so who make these with y'all? Yeah, who makes the decisions? <laughs> That's Big Daddy. Nah. Okay, okay, Word. okay. I like that. <laughs> But no, we we definitely bounce ideas off each other all the time, so it kind of helps with the creative juices. That's what's flowing. up. Facts. That's what's up. Yeah. Facts. Big Daddy. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. I'm a fan of good work. Definitely working so, clean. Yes, Big Daddy. <laughs> working clean. Working clean. That's dope, man. I, I mean, so, y'all seem like y'all got great chemistry, man. Oh you know yeah, definitely. Looking forward to checking y'all. I got to get on too. I just been haven't had time to watch shit, bro. Like I just been on the movie. So you ain't even seen you on too. Man, I, I seen Summer Beast when I fell asleep on shit the other night. It's <laughs> fucked up, you know what I'm saying? I, but you're going to watch Yellowstone all the way through and ain't going to watch your own shit. Well, because Yellowstone caught me at a time where I was up. So, oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Dakari was in Bricks, too. Yeah, he was oh, in yeah. Bricks, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bricks. Yeah, yeah I saw him in I remember yeah. him in Bricks. That's when I was like, damn, because I, I just realized, I was like, damn, he was in 3,000 Letters, too. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the like boy you, got you, skills, you, man. You, I must yeah, admit, he got skills. I give it up when I see it. You're in motion. For sure. Yeah, yeah you working it. real clean right now. Definitely. I'm a fan right. of good work. Appreciate Definitely. it. Definitely. So Definitely. do y'all have anything that y'all have written together that y'all going to do, like, as a couple or if there's something that That Mr. Just, and Mrs. Smith. Yeah, just yeah. that's that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, we got some things in the works. I don't like to, you know, expose my my, my hand too much. We ain't gonna tell uh, nobody, go ahead. But at the end of the day, <laughs> we got, we, we we definitely got some motion coming. Um, We've been brainstorming about something. I already got a pitch deck as well as script. Mm. Damn near the whole cast for for this next one that would be probably something similar to, to that. Okay. So um, I definitely do, do love her acting. I'm a big fan of her. So I That's definitely beautiful. want to That's be beautiful. able to work more so alongside because we don't have a lot of that, you know, out yeah. here. Facts. And I feel like that chemistry will be real whether we playing us alongside or even opposite. I mean, we got so much eclectic talent to where our range is just, is just, you know, it's just crazy. Just like I named off all those movies, all those movies are different genres. Every single movie, I'm a different person. The same thing with her, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, trying to show diversity into our characters, our range, and the movies that we doing, so that when people watch movies, they know that, you know, you watching a Houston movie, you ain't about to just watch a regular old movie. You gonna see something different every single time when the things drop. Big know? fest. Yeah. This city got a lot to offer, man, like I said, from our culture, like, and that's that's kind of what, when I do my film, I wanna touch a little bit on, on our culture, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because we've so, been robbed of our culture, like, people been taking our shit, acting like it's theirs, you know what I'm saying? On oh, yeah. so many different levels, so. You know, and that's something me and my friends we talk about a lot, man. Well, Houston has a lot, a lot of culture that we you know we want the world to see and share with the world. Like let motherfuckers know. Oh yeah, we bought that shit down here. Man, we so got so much culture, and honestly, I feel like a lot of culture that that people are riding waves of that's that's trending oh, facts. even in, oh, in certain facts. industries. They came from right here. Facts. You feel me, growing up? That's why even when I was part of Dirty Third, you know, it just still give me chills to even know that you know I was alongside all of these greats and carrying this type of legacy. Facts. Because this is 
where a lot of artists who are still, you know, Grammy Award winners to this day still living, they got their roots from, yeah. from way back then. Right. You feel me? Like even when we think about, what's your favorite movie? I have so many of no, them. No, I'm talking about the one that, that was inspired by the original Dirty Third. Oh, state property. State property. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> no, you know, state right. property state was property. inspired by Dirty Third. So it's right. so much, it's so much history. Damn, I never within, thought about with, that. With, within our city, you feel me? Yeah, Rex was one of the first people, as far as like hip hop music label, to do a fucking movie. Like you know, what I'm saying you had Facts. Crush Groove back in the day, of course. Like you know, what I'm saying, but yeah. Rex was you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've had some trendsetters, and we're you know I think another thing that um. One of the things I like in Be Someone, it's a diverse cast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something that we, you know, show our diversity because we're the most diverse city in the country. No, yeah. we are. You know, a we lot are. of people don't know that, mm-hmm. that, you know, we, we have so many, di- a lot of people think it's New York, but we have so many different communities mm-hmm. <laughs> right in the city of Houston, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of people don't even realize, like, when you talk, they'll talk about Chinatown, but you got Koreans. Mm-hmm. You got Chinese, you got Japanese, you got Vietnamese. You, I mean, the Asian community here is crazy. Very crazy. Then you, you know. got the Pakistanis and the Indians. Mm-hmm. You got five or six different African communities. They're not no. including the Latino yeah. community. You got, oh my God, you got Cuban, you got Venezuelans, you got- um, Colombian. Colombians. All that shit. Yeah, my partner, he he, he don't even- he, El Salvador. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna yeah, do it, they might know yeah. what I'm talking about. He love him, boy, he love him some Latin women. He don't, yeah, yeah, he's just into him all the yeah. way around. Hey, you know what? I we're gonna we're getting ready to wrap this up, man. But what I really do appreciate, man, both of you guys are extremely intelligent. I think y'all gonna go very far. I, 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 I love the work that y'all already putting down, and I see nothing but great things in y'all future. What's and that? another thing that I really like is uh, the fact that you know, um, how do I say this the right way? Mm. I normally just say shit sometimes, you know, but. Yeah. I, I really love the fact that, you know, you you didn't have a problem bringing your girl up. Mm-hmm. And I love the fact how, you know, I can see how you guys love and support each other. So I love that. So, I think that's so important, it. you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm working on giving my boy Dre a wife, you know. So, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm about to say, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm going to be 44 this year. Oh, so hopefully, hopefully by the time I'm 50, maybe I'll find somebody. Uh, I don't see it happening. But oh, anyway, what you mean? Yeah, I don't see it happening, Trey. You just said you're gonna find one, and you're gonna take take it from me already. You're pretty selfish. <laughs> not selfish. You're not selfish. I just like shit my way. That's not selfish. I agree. Now you know what? I I, I agree. Selfish. I just like shit my way. That doesn't yeah. make, that does not make I feel me like selfish. Did I, you hear what Dre said, baby? I just want shit my way. That don't mean I I'm feel selfish. like I feel like I'm a great fucking leader. I feel like I'm a great for go ahead, Drake. Yeah, oh, no. I feel like Y'all I'm a great excuse leader. us. Me and Drake gonna <laughs> talk to you. Oh, so no. yeah. when you're a great leader, you should be able to do shit your way. That's my opinion. You know what though? I felt that way like back in like when I was really just fucking around, fucking around. And yeah, you know, I told my I told my wife at the time, <laughs> you know, like, listen, man, I'm I'm probably gonna get an extra piece of pussy, but if you don't ask no questions, you never find out. The problem is women get nosy, start asking shit. Right. But I'm not. I'm a different person today. That was old me. Old you better be anyway, different. You got anyway, that ring. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Anyway, old me, old me. Anyway, um, See, I ain't got no ring yet. So you know what I'm saying. Y'all the ring. I'm, I had a ring. Yeah. I ain't, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I ain't going got a home. Tattoo yet. I'm going home. I go home every day. I, do I am too. so proud of myself because there was a time when I didn't go home every day. Just yeah, that wasn't. Well, I didn't think you so should go. I home I don't every think day. you have a choice not to go home because you don't go home. Somebody might come looking for you. So mm. you know what you say, Tron. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man thank you is, so much. This has been a great show, man. I had a good no, time tonight, real. man. Real. Hey, we y'all appreciate y'all you. coming through, man. And we also, I, I saw, I saw, her, um, I saw your PR skills go right to work. Mm-hmm. So I can see y'all might be a husband and wife uh, political couple in the future. Man. <laughs> right, y'all, right. y'all might, y'all might have an office. I, I might be sitting next. To, I might next be sitting next to one of the mayors. No bullshit. Sure, One of y'all so might so. be mayors of the city. I'm telling you, I see this so, shit. That's for sure. That's for sure. Well, so. you know, but but now I know that's that's an option. Well, that's an option that both of you all have. Mm-hmm. But I, I think y'all career gonna take off to the point you may not have time to do your uh, civic your civic duties. But mm-hmm. I think right. you guys are both. I'm, I'm I'm stamping y'all right now. I see I see man, some politics that. in y'all future. Man, right. appreciate right. that. Right. I appreciate y'all Definitely bringing us on the show. That. Hey man, 
Make sure y'all go check out the Hooper, man. It's over, man, it's let's over. go check back down the list real quick. Make sure y'all check out the Hooper. Tell it's them over. every movie they need to be checking out. Man. And you got to check it out more than once, more than twice, Facts. more than three times. Facts. If we can get the city of Houston behind us, I ain't going to say we don't need nobody else because we want everybody. But Facts. if we can get Houston to support Houston, Mm-hmm. Can't no other city fuck with us. And, and Tubi oh. free as fuck. So you free. gotta go free, free, man. Shit. Watch it's these free. movies. And it's if you free. ain't watching the movie, turn the goddamn movie on and let it play. Let it play. Leave Even if you don't watch the play. movie, turn the goddamn movie exactly. on and let it play. Hey, exactly. I did From it now on, anybody talk to me, you talk to Travis first. You don't come to me directly. <laughs> Huey, you talk to Huey. <laughs> okay, this is it. Blot that shit, nigga. <laughs> so, <laughs> sit down, pack You blot that shit out. <laughs> the fuck wrong with y'all? All right, Watch go ahead, YouTube, man. man. All right, tell them all the movies they need yeah. to be watching. And tell them people where they can find y'all at too, For man. So sure. you can find uh, you can find me on social media platforms: Dakari Akil 3D. That's D A K A R A I A K I L 3D. Uh, you can follow the Hooper page, uh, the Hooper movie, on all social media platforms. Uh, make sure y'all check out uh, the Hooper, Dirty Third, Next Generation, uh, the Season, the Ring Widow, uh, Induced, uh, Candy Two, uh, the Bricks. Um, Just search this nigga. Letters. Fuck it. Just go search. Yeah, put it in the car. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> he got it going on, man. Three thousand letters. Put them in there, laced. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about you, Shorty? What you got? Yeah. Uh, yes, you can find me at Miss Faith Elizabeth, M I S S Faith Elizabeth. Marie coming soon. Mm-hmm. Unfinished business, red flags too, hat man. Facts. Check out the Hooper already streaming and more to come. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Right. That's dope. We moving. That's I love dope. It. It's motion. So, man, listen, let me say this one more time before we go. Thank y'all, first of all, for coming for sure. on. Definitely I can't it. say this enough. Tubi is free. It's and, free. you know, a lot of these movies on Tubi, you know, they're gonna be, they'll be also spread across other platforms. Mm-hmm. But even if you're not watching the movie, we'd appreciate y'all's support by just pressing play mm-hmm. and walk out the room. But I assure you, these are such great actors and actresses that after you just listen to it coming by, you're going to sit your ass down and watch it. Oh, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> and we got my boy Dre over there. Got B someone on there, the Bricks. Yeah. Got Double Cup coming. Um, yeah. I'm yeah. in uh, H-Town. H-Town. Yeah, I'm in yeah. H-Town. We got, we got man. a lot man. Work coming. clean. I'm Only loving friends you. on the way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so you know, I'm trying, man. So I'm not. I'm not as bought up in double cup. Yeah, you, I'm, yeah, you, you definitely know? got you. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Man, put me in, Dre. Give me a, just give me a cameo, man. <laughs> yeah, I got. I you. I just want a cameo because that's all I got time for is a cameo. I'm, I'm gonna put so. you in line together, man. Yeah, put me in line in there. Just put me in line in. He ready though. Look at it. He ready. He got his pose on his shit. Lonnie, do not get in front of the camera. So he ain't ready. What'd you say, Lonnie? You ready? He ain't talking about my boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Inside joke, that's like <laughs> So, hey man, with all that being said, it's been a great show tonight, man. Great, great show. show. Man. Thank y'all for tuning into the Cole and Dre podcast. I'm Cole, and this is Dre, and we out. Peace. Peace. Hey, hey man, what time it is, man? Hey, Lillis. Hey, Lillis. Hey, Lillis. Hey, hey, hey. Ball straight, two mother watch them out. No cap, all facts like what you talking about. Boy, listen and pay attention to what we talking about. We can show you how to make a hundred thousand in the drought.